I bought the cheapest E46 330D manual in the UK and it is rusty. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the condition of the car, what's wrong with it. I'm gonna give it a few fixes and hopefully we'll be selling it for a tidy profit. Hold out your hand. So currently the car's on 140,000 miles. It's got the full M Sport package. So it's got the original M Sport wheels, bumper, steering wheel, gear knob, and a few other little bits of trim inside. The interior is cloth seats with Alcantara or suede. Previous owner had it for seven years and he definitely took care of this car. It was a bit of a risk buying it. Stay tuned to find out how much I paid for it. In the past 12 months, it's had new brakes, new tires, lower control arms have been done, dampers and springs have been changed. That's just to name a few things. The ABS unit has recently been refurbished about two weeks ago and the ABS light has come back on. So I was a bit worried about that, but I've had it scanned and it turns out it's just the sensor. So I've got one of those, we'll be putting that in. The rust on the arches is not great. It ruins the look of the car but tomorrow I've got that booked in at the body shop and hopefully it's a cracking job. The key battery had run out and unfortunately, if you know these cars, you can't just buy a new battery and put it in. BMW recommend you buy a new key from them. I thought I'd call them up, 180 pounds they wanted. So needless to say, I've bought a button battery off eBay, cut the key open, soldered that new battery in and the central locking works perfectly. The emblems, as you can see, are in dire need of being replaced. So I've got some of those, I'll be popping them on. And then as soon as I've had the rust sorted and the paint done, I'll be taking these off, giving the car a good detail, a machine polish, clay barring, make it look brand spanking new. So another bonus is the sills have already been welded. So that's great. The interior of this car as well for a 20 year old car is absolutely great. It's got a bit of a rip on the driver's seat bolster. A few marks, scratches here and there, but other than that, it looks great. I'll be giving the interior a good clean. It doesn't need much, but I have got some new floor mats to go all around with M Sport branding on. Hopefully they're to the taste of the new lucky owner of this car. I did get very lucky with this because I paid 950 pounds for this. It has MOT until next year. I think it's around 10 months. I'll have to double check and it'll be here on the screen. I thought it would be in a lot worse shape than it actually is. Is. The previous owner has done this car fantastic by looking after it. I actually daily drive an E91 330D Touring and after driving this E46 it makes my other car feel 20 years older. This drives immaculately, it's got no noises from the suspension, the turning is fantastic and now I understand why everyone raves about these chassis. Absolute joy to drive and if I could keep it there wouldn't be a question i'd be having it all in all i do think i got an absolute bargain on this car and i will be doing a pov gopro test drive in it maybe do some skids we'll see so keep keep an eye out for that we'll see how the sale goes and i'll let you know of all the expenses that i'm spending on the car and i'm thinking maybe three to three point eight thousand pounds i'll sell it for we'll see what we get but i'm i'm very optimistic that this car is going to make me a great profit one eternity later I have just got back from the body shop and the arches are looking absolutely fantastic. So it's about a week later, so that cost me just about £600 and I am going to get the fresh Bosch wheel speed sensor that will be going on to the front left, so hopefully all the ABS problems will be fixed. So I'm just going to chuck the wheels back to make sure I don't get run over by my own car. Wax my overalls on, because I've wasted at least £30 worth of charity shop clothes getting oil on them. So if you've still got this, your locking wheel nuts should be in there. Christ! You can see there, just where that socket's plugged in, there's a little, a little bolt that goes into the sensor. That's what needs taken out. Bolt goes through here, you need to pry it out. Comes to this little box here, so you just pinch the bottom. Yank it out, same again, slide this top, like I say, should just slide out of the metal. Clip that in, push it back into the top there, clip it in, press that back into there. I'm just tapping it in. Nip it up. Looks like the lines are brand new actually. Yeah, them lines are definitely new and then we've got a new drop link as well down there as you can see looks like it's had lower control arms done on it so i'm just going to nip this back together again we'll take it for a dry and see if all those lights have gone off be careful when you're using impact with your locking wheel nuts because it's a big pain if you strip the inside of that trust me i've done it before <laughs> we 
we might be ready to sell this absolute schwagen. later. So here is the listing that I put up for the E46. First picture I wanted to have rain on it so you could see that it's been coated. Look at the beading. Brilliant. I was rushing because my insurance was running out to take pictures, so I ended up using ones from my phone. I've put angles from all of the car on, so you can see we've got scrapes here. Added the tyres, so you can see they've all got good tread. What I get every angle, there's the M Sport bumper. Again, you've got lacquer peel. Made a point of the lacquer peel. Full toolbox, to show it's been looked after. Wheels in decent condition. Interior, got those mats, looks clean, looks great. You got the mileage on there, always important to show there's no warning lights. And then here you've got the description that I've added, just everything that I've changed and I know that has been changed recently. Got the lack appeal and the radio doesn't sound great, but there is the listing, feel free to pause there. So it's been a few weeks and I am backing the E91 wagon which I'm very happy about, because as you can probably tell, that means the E46 is sold. It's been picked up, got the money, transferred ownership, all sorted. I'm gonna run through the expenditures and how much profit we made. So biggest expense was the car itself, 950 pounds, obviously that was. Next up was the insurance, that was 136 pounds and 61 pence. The tax, 27 pounds. Interior mats, 27 pounds. The key fob battery was 4 pound 94, obviously sold that in myself. The emblems were £11.90, and the biggest expense other than the car itself was the arches. They were £600. The diagnostics for the ABS sensor was £20, and then £39.34 for the sensor. So that's everything I've spent on the car. Comes up to £1,816.79p is everything I've spent on the car. So that brings us with the profit of £1,000. £333.21. So I've done a lot of these cars. I've not filmed them, but I've, I've done a lot of flipping cars and this is definitely one of the best profit margins that I've got. So I'm absolutely buzzing about that. I've got an E46 drift video POV coming out from the car that I just sold. So stay tuned for that. And as soon as we get this car MOT'd and back on the road, I'll be seeing how these coilovers handle and how well it goes sideways. If you want to see more of these types of videos, I've got my eye on another car. Will not be as cool, but it'll be a disaster detail, that's for sure. So if you want to see that, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, let's go. So there's a lot to look forward to. Stay tuned.